Um, we met in college in English class. Yeah, she didn't really like me at first. I think I was kind of irritating, but she was cute. I remember she had on like, she had on these jeans that made her butt look huge. So I was, I was pretty interested right away. She's kind of my type. And he was like staring at me and I was like, do you want to be my partner? <laughs> He's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, so yeah, that's how we met. I thought he was so irritating though. She was kind of reluctant, but everybody else had partners, so she was kind of stuck with me. And then I just used my charm on her. He was always trying to like get my attention in class. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type to like go to school, focus on the teacher, get it done, and get out of there. Like I don't like to dilly-dally and stuff, and he likes, he's really goofy. And he liked to be the class clown. So he's always doing stuff to get my attention, and it just irritated me so much. I was so irritated. I'd go home and tell my sister, like, oh, this guy, he irritates me. I can't stand him. I thought she was cute. She had a nice smile. Um, she looked kind of grumpy, though, in class. Honestly, she looked super grumpy. So I was kind of scared at first, but she was definitely the, the prettiest girl in our class. And He would, like, um, ask to borrow my homework. He would um, ask to borrow pencils, highlighters, like every day it was something new and I was just like, what the heck man, do you not come to class prepared or something? Eventually, like I think like a month later, I got the, the courage to like go and sit down next to her before class and I asked her for her notes, even though I already have my notes and um, her notes were terrible, but I copied them down anyway. And then um, in class a few times, like I would ask her to borrow like a pen or like a highlighter. And even though I already had my own, just like trying to like, trying to make sure that she, she knew that I was interested, but she was kind of oblivious to that. And then he like messaged me one day on Facebook and he was like, oh, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, oh, nothing. He's like, oh, do you want to go to laser tag with me? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure. She was just gonna watch Netflix or something. Be lame, something lame, yeah. And I was just like, oh, do you wanna go laser tag with me? So that's kind of how we got on our first date. Um, then we went to Zippy's. And I think it's when we went to Zippy's that like, she could tell that, that I was more handsome than she thought I was. And um, from there, I think is when we really kicked it off. It was at Zippy's. Over food, yeah, it's a girl's best friend. So I think that's what made her <laughs> extra stoked. <laughs> she mopped her food in like 10 seconds. It was pretty funny. <laughs> he's a sweetheart. He's this big, like, I guess scary looking guy, but he's such a sweetheart. He's so sensitive. Um, and he's very passionate. Very, very passionate. I love that about him. I guess her sassiness is probably what I like the most. Cause she's like forever sassy, but it's so cute when she gets like grumpy and stuff and she gets sassy. Uh, how much she loves kids. She loves kids a lot. And like that's what she wants to do with her life. And that makes me happy because I know that she'll be a good mom. And then probably the third one is how much she loves her family. Cause she'll do anything for her siblings and stuff. And that's something that's really important to me. He cries at commercials sitting there and we're watching and I'm, I like look at him and I'm like, are you crying? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm crying, stop. He's like super, super sensitive and you wouldn't even think. I wouldn't want to be with nobody else. Like even her stink breath is like, is good, you know? Like I'd rather smell her stink breath than anybody else's and I don't know. I, I, I couldn't imagine waking up next to somebody else and smelling their stink breath instead of hers. We went to California Adventures, where World of Color is. And I turned around, and he was on his knee. And it's funny because everyone's like, after it happened, everyone's like, oh, what did he say to you? What did he say? He didn't say anything. <laughs> he cried the whole time. He was just crying. I just had a, the ring in my hand. I literally could not say one word. <laughs> and she said yes, but I didn't ask any questions. And he was like, oh, will you marry me? And I was like, yeah, put the ring on, put the ring on, put the ring on. And yeah, but he picked like the most magical place 
like the perfect place in my head to get engaged. I think all I really have to say is that I love you and thanks for choosing me. Um, you're really irritating, but you're also the best person ever. And I love you. And I hope that you'll continue to love me like you have for the past two and a half years. Love you. Hi, Joshua. Um, if you're watching this, that means that we did it and you get to spend eternity with me. Um, thank you so much for being my soulmate. I didn't want to cry when I did this. You truly are my best friend. And I can't imagine spending this life with anybody else but you. There's no one else in the world that I'd rather have by my side. I love you.